The human face of seven years of the EU cooperation with 16 neighboring countries is going on show in a new exhibition in Brussels. This is Faces of the Neighborhood, several photographs capturing concrete activities and projects. We are very supportive of this initiative. Uh, it's very good because it's a way to uh, let people know here at the InfoPoint European Union uh, about this neighboring policy which the European Union is, uh, has adopted towards the southern and the eastern neighborhood. The exhibition has been organized by the EU Neighborhood Info Center, a project funded by Europe's aid regional communication program that raises awareness about the partnership between the European Union and its neighbors to the east and to the south. I think it's a very nice exhibition because it basically puts faces behind the uh, anonymous policy papers and uh, as I said uh, there are real lives affected and the real lives that are being changed. Uh, the European neighborhood policy is um, uh, you know, is having a difficult time. It's uh, at the moment, particularly our region, but also the south, is experiencing uh, quite a bit of turmoil. Georgia's uh, been going through uh, big uh, changes and big transformations, and the ENP provided the framework and the backing that it really needed. From Georgia and Azerbaijan to the Palestinian territories and Morocco, these photos are telling many stories. I think it is important through this uh, exhibition to show what are the concrete actions that have been taken on the ground, and there are many. And I think it is very positive to note all the different activities, the different areas, sectors, stakeholders, with which and with whom the European Union have been working in order to implement the neighborhood policy into concrete projects on the ground. Traveling through themes and space, the Faces of the Neighborhood showcases examples of cooperation in sectors as different as transport, education, media freedom, research and energy across all the countries of the region.